What's up, creative mind? I am Sir Angel, and this is your Foodie Chef. I've got here with me the small rig RC220B. This is the bicolor version, um, a 260 watt light. Let's unbox. Right, so I ordered this from Amazon. It cost me about 300 pounds because it's on sale at the moment. Okay. So right after opening this thing, we're greeted with a nice bag. With a small rig logo on it. Now this is a very nice bag and it looks durable and well made. This is one thing that Small Rig is doing um, that I think is very nice and it's going to fetch them a lot of customers. This is the main reason I went with this light because there were a lot of lights out there, a lot of options. There was the Amaran 200X and when you compare that light with this one, that's not got a bag with it. So that does not come with a bag, but this one does. So that's the reason I decided to go with this Small Rig light because I need a bag to carry it with and you know, this one has it. All right, let me open this bag. We've got a strap here with a shoulder pad to protect your shoulders. The bag is actually very durable. Well, it is, it feels durable, yeah. I cannot say it's durable yet, but it feels very durable and premium. We've got some stickers on here and um, the user manual. And they really protected these lights, you know. So let me just try and flip it like that so you guys can see what you've got in there. That is how it looks like. We've got these small patterns to protect. Oh my, this is good. We've got the reflector, which is also protected with a cardboard to prevent it from bending, I believe. All right. This is the Boeing's mount, guys. We've got the power cable. It looks fairly long. And the power adapter. Here, the power brick. This one has the locking mechanism. So if you plug it in and you're using it on set or anything like that, it is not going to come out, you know, if somebody trips on the wire, it's not going to just come out easily. And of the lights it's got the locking mechanism what again have we got in there that's all we've got the light let's get this out put this here all right this is the light guys the small rig rc 220b um it's got Okay, have to pull this back and then release. Yeah, like that. It's got this small diffuser thing. Um, it also protects the tiny lights in here. And it's got a small rig logo embossed on it, which is very cool actually. Even though the light itself is made of plastic, it doesn't feel cheap. And it has a metal mount, which I believe is a good thing. Um, metal is definitely stronger than plastic. And I know, I mean, some other lights out there have metal cases, metal bodies. This one doesn't, this one has um, a plastic. But then again, I think they did that so they can pack a lot of power in it and still make it affordable. Because this light for 300 pounds, I think it's a good deal. Well, it was on sale. So I, um, I think originally it sells for about 336 pounds. I'll put the link in the description below. So in case you want to buy it, just check out the link in the description below and get it. Back here, we've got the power switch, the on and off. We've got the FX knob, is it dial. We've got this one here to control the intensity and the CCT. If I go ahead and I plug it in like that, it just clicks in place and it doesn't come out. Yeah, not unless you want to break it, <laughs> it doesn't come out. The buttons on it, the knobs and all that, it does not feel cheap, guys. It feels very premium. And I think this light is going to be very durable. Um, let's go ahead and turn it on and see how bright it is. Now, one thing I wish it came with 
is something to hang the power brick on a light stand. Most of the times when you connect lights and all that, you need to put this somewhere and you know, it's just not long enough to reach the ground. So sometimes it's just left hanging, which is not a good thing. I wish it came with something to hang the power brick on a light stand, but it doesn't. Let's go ahead and plug it in and let's see how bright it is. Now the light does take a while to turn on um, after you press the switch. So I'll, I'll turn it off and I'll turn it on again. Right, so it does take about say one second or two seconds to come back on, uh, to come on when you turn it off. But I believe this is no problem because I think, well, just one or two seconds, it's, it's fine. For me, I think it's all right. And for most people, I think it's gonna be all right. It's not like the light is slow or anything like that. All right, so it's got a color temperature of 2,700 Kelvin all the way up to 6,500 Kelvin guys, which is very good. Now I've got this only turn at 1% guys, 1%. If I go ahead and I crank it up, that's 10%. That's 40% guys. This light is very bright. Um, I'll be happy to compare it to the Amaran 200X to see how, how it compares and to see which one is brighter. Now, on paper, I believe this one is brighter than the Amaran um, 200X, but I'd like to see it, you know, I'd like to experience it myself because it's not always true what's on paper. Sometimes it's slightly different. So I'd like to try out that light as well. I don't have it um, as I'm speaking now. I'm using the Ambit 4 FL180 RGB. That's what it's lighting me right now. Um, but first impression, I think this light is well built. Even though it's made of plastic, it doesn't feel cheap. It is a Boeing's mount. Oh, and you can control it with an app as well. So it doesn't come with a remote, but you can control it with an app. Do I love this light already? Yes, I do. I love it already. Now I've not used it. Um, so, you know, I can't really say much about it. I'll use it and then I'll post a review of this light but first impression i think this light looks very beautiful and it, it feels well made it feels well made um, i like the fact that it is a bowing's mount i mean you can control it with an app some people prefer remote but i think an app is not it's not bad you know um and i love the locking mechanism that is here i love the fact that it comes with a bag no hassle um if i'm traveling I've got a wedding tomorrow to film. So I'm just going to carry it in a bag instead of just tossing it in the car, which is well not the best. It's not the best showing up um, at a wedding as a, well, a professional videographer or whatever you, you, you do um, with that box with the lighting is not nice, is it? So it's nice that it comes with this bag. I think I love it. The bag is well made, feels very premium and I would buy this if you were sold separately guys it is nice go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the like button and um, be part of this community if you've got any questions you can leave it down in the comment section below and i'll be sure to reply you as soon as i can check out my instagram i, I am serenjo check out my website at www.serenjophotography.com i've put links down in the description below of gear i use and i've put a link down to purchase this light in case you want to purchase it Remember, I am Saren Joe, and this is your Foodie Chef. See you in the next video, guys.